There is a worrisome trend developing in Maine right now as we kiss our sweaters and jackets goodbye and find our swimsuits. May is Water Safety Month, and the state's largest provider of swimming lessons for kids is firing up a flare to get everyone's attention about a very real problem, one that New Center Maine's Chris Costa has been looking into. Chris? Well, Pat, the YMCA Alliance of Northern New England provides swim lessons for thousands of kids in each of Maine's 16 counties. Now, a spokesperson says in 2020, when the pandemic started, the number of kids participating in swim lessons dropped by nearly 50%. Why? Because pools were closed at first, and then COVID safety guidelines required smaller groups for those lessons. Now, that spokesperson says all that led to a backlog of kids and families that need swim lessons, including some kids who already knew some swimming basics and now are starting from scratch. Some kids love playing in the water. Others, like three and a half year old Elise Caldwell. She's afraid of the water. And on our own, we had not been able to get her to get past her thighs. That's why her mom, Amy, signed her up for swim lessons. After trying to teach her how to swim on her own. Elise is just like a lot of kids in Maine who live near water, whether it's a lake, river, ocean, or swimming pool. It made us nervous that she was afraid of the water and then if, if she needed to needed to know how to swim, she couldn't. We didn't have that help. She's not the only one. YMCA staff say during the pandemic, fewer kids took swim lessons, either due to closed pools or smaller class sizes for COVID safety. Lauren Dwyer is the aquatics director at the Waterville location. She says this phenomenon led to kids regressing in their swimming abilities. For some kids, it's as basic as getting them back in the water, doing one or two lessons where they realize they remember like, wow, I can do this or muscle memory is there. But then for some of the kiddos that were really young, they don't remember it at all. So it's like they're starting completely over. I mean, if anybody knows why this is so important, it's you, the, the topic that we're covering. Uh, it, it's been my whole life, yeah. Ken Walsh is the CEO of the Alfond Youth and Community Center. It's both a YMCA and a boys and girls club located in Waterville. He grew up lifeguarding and competing in triathlons where swimming well is a must. He says the wise summer camps picked up on the red flag of kids who had regressed. Just the thought that my kids are going to be out, you know, on the lake or ocean, uh, not having that skill set uh, is scary. It is every parent's fear with kids and water. In the last five years, 11 kids under the age of 18 have accidentally drowned, according to Maine's Office of the Chief Medical Examiner. Five drowned in rivers, four drowned in ponds, two drowned in swimming pools. More than half of those kids were under age six. Nationwide, stats from the YMCA show drowning is the leading cause of unintentional death among kids ages one to four, and the second leading cause of injury-related death for kids ages five to 14. I've had to rescue hundreds of kids. Oceans, pools, lakes, I'm always looking for things before they happen. It's, it's too much space right now. To... Maine State Lifeguard Coordinator Sean Vayanku says parents need to pay even more attention to their kids at a beach, lake, or river. There's, there's no question about it. Open water is, is more dangerous to swim in than a pool, but they, they both are, have their risk. A uh, pool can be deceptively dangerous because people get comfortable and confident. Those dynamics, like waves and currents, plus the colder temperatures and unknowns on the bottom, make it even more important for kids to be strong swimmers. It is important that kids uh, learn how to swim as best as they can to be confident swimmers in the ocean. Because if you're not a confident swimmer in the pool, you're most certainly not going to be a confident swimmer in the ocean. Swim instructors say starting as early as age three is crucial for kids learning water safety. At age three and a half, four years old is when they have that natural kind of, they're starting to develop their independence like in all aspects of life. So to gain that independence in the water where if they fall in, they know what to do. It's definitely harder the older they get to kind of erase that fear of the water. A fear Elise's mom says her daughter is starting to overcome. Good girl. It makes me, well, one smile and excited for her because when she comes out of class, she can't wait to tell me that she put her mouth in the water, her nose in the water, and that she was able to follow all of Miss Lori's instructions. Yay, good job. It's, it's 
definitely reassuring knowing that she's not afraid of the water but also knows her limitations and knows how to get out of the water. So I'm not sure if you saw it in some of the video. Those kids, right before they jump in, they count one, two, three. Now, it's not just for fun. It's actually a technique from the instructors. It's a cue for parents. So as soon as they start hearing their kids count to three or maybe ready, set, go, those parents know their child's about to jump in the water. So it's a mental reminder for parents to turn and watch to make sure their kid comes back up to the surface safely. Pat. Great idea. Chris Costa, thank you.